Well, war and counter-war is the ninth area of activity in the book, and it outlines that. And that's the only way that all wars should be fought, on an individual basis. In other words, the individual who is hurt the most, just like the concept of justice, the person who is being needs help the most gets the most constructive help. And the person who is being hurt the most and nobody's doing anything about it, that person has a choice. I won't say it's a duty, but that is an option to compensate by attacking, counterattacking, because the attack has already been made on the person. The person is being mistreated, and nobody's coming to the person's aid. So that person as an individual, not as a so-called group, I mean, you know, that, that's not justice. Not That's not done in, you know, it's the person that's hurting. That's the person. The squeaky wheel gets the grease, as they say. Yes, sir. So that person, in the form of maximum emergency compensatory action, I used to call it justice, but I thought that was going a little too far by, by saying that you're actually producing justice. You don't know whether you are or not, but that's the step toward it. So it would be more accurate to say maximum emergency compensatory action. Uh, that's action with the intent of producing justice, however. But to be explicit, it's an action with that intent. Because the intent is always to bring about balance between people. And the best way to make a message between people who are dedicated to doing harm and nothing will stop them, is to do harm to the person who is doing harm. Now, if you're going to kill them in order to do that, then in order to prove your motive for doing it, rather than just duplicating what they have done, is that you also kill yourself. That's one of the features of maximum emergency. You tell the person, say, well, I can't stop you from doing what you're doing because you're going to continue to do it. And so I don't know how to stop you and then survive because you have made me dependent on you. So let's do it this way. Let's say you keep mistreating me. Nothing will come to my rescue. And you keep doing it, and you keep doing it, and you keep doing it. And I can't get any help from anybody. And you keep doing it. And it looks like it's just going to keep on this way. There's no relief. There's no place I can go. I can't get away from you. I just have to be in this condition. So, since this is a situation that should not exist, I will take what skills that I have. And on a certain day, at a certain hour, and certain circumstances whatever it is I can figure out in a compensatory fashion. I will take you away from here. In other words, I will kill you. And then I will kill myself to make the point that this situation should not exist in the first place. You should not have driven me to this point. But since you did, now, I don't want anybody punishing me for having done it, but I did do it, so I compensate. I don't want to make a killer out of somebody else, so I killed myself because I killed you, and I killed you because you should be dead on account of your actions toward me, so we both go at the same time same day and that will be at least a lesson to everybody else who's walking around here who think that this is the way everything should be that people should just go on mistreating people and if it happens enough over a period of time people will eventually get the message this mistreating people does not work it simply doesn't work because when I mistreat you, it means that I am going to be the result of my mistreatment. 
my own demise, my own extinction. I can't do it. Maybe people will get that message. That's the procedure. That's the message that's supposed to be sent under maximum emergency. For the person that's only supposed to do it when they can't go any further, when they don't have any options, when they can't get away, when when there's nothing else that they can do except just keep taking it, keep taking it, keep taking it. Nobody's supposed to do that. But it's up to the person, the individual person, because different people have different temperaments. Different people can stand different levels of punishment. But that's the only form of so-called violence that's allowed other than direct self-defense, which in a projected way that is. Maximum emergency is self-defense. But it's defense when you can no longer defend yourself. But this is the only type of counter-violence that's allowed where you take the initiative to make into extinction the person who is slowly making you worthless for having been here in the first place by just mistreating you, mistreating you, mistreating you, and making themselves comfortable by mistreating you. That's justice in its purest form when it comes to counter-violence against the violence that's being afflicted. Nobody, logically speaking, who has the correct intentions can argue against that. In the code book, the textbook for victims of racism, that whole chapter, that whole segment, that whole area of activity is covered under war, counter-war. War is a system of white supremacy. It's the most potent form of war. If you're going to counter that system directly, toe-to-toe, you don't do it by dropping bombs on cities, killing babies and all this type of stuff, or just kill anybody. No. You go after the individual's specifically, who are doing the most damage once you find out who they are. And without warning, because they have already had their warning by having done what they have been doing, and you have already asked them to stop doing what they are doing. But being what they are, they continue to do it because they think that's their mission for existence in this planet. And there's no logical reason for them to think that. No constructive reason. So when you can't talk to them, after you try to talk to them, that's compensatory. Try to talk to them. But if you as an individual, not the fellow next door, decide, I'm tired of talking. I can't take it anymore. They're slowly strangling me. They're making me into a worthless organism. And they're enjoying it. And I'm not taking it anymore. As of tomorrow or the next day or whenever I decide, you're your own general and your own private, your own corporal, your own politician, in your own army. An army of one. And you take them out of this world and you go with them. Doesn't get any better than that. And then the people who hear about it can evaluate it for what it is and say, well, looks like a message was sent. Somebody was being mistreated. And they stopped the mistreatment from the person who was inflicting the mistreatment. And they paid the full price for having done so by terminating themselves as they did it. 
Now, what do we who have survived and witnessed this have to say? Well, what we should say is, we don't want to have to do that, do we, to each other on this wonderful planet that we have been given. This is not the way to run this business of running this planet. So maybe we all ought to change. How about that? That's the message. Very clear message. A very tolerant message. A very logical message. A very just message. 